All right. This is our um, <laughs> Pet of the Week segment with uh, Juana Mescal and, and Mary Hickman's with her. How are y'all doing today? Hi, we're good, fine. Thank good, you. Good, good. Now, Mary, you're, you're a part of the uh, Ozark Humane, Humane Society. Society. I'm and actually what, the president. Pres okay, okay. I, knew you, I knew you were yeah. way up there. Oh, way up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do most of the work down there, too, I'm sure. Well, we that needs a, to be done. No, we have a wonderful volunteer base. And, good. Uh, a, a full board of nine people. So, oh, wow. good. And I'm a delegator, so I'm kind of steering That's good. the ship. Good deal. That's good. A lot of wonderful people that are Full helping. speed ahead. Absolutely. And we're a no-kill um, uh, 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 can, a facility, yes, yeah, yes. a shelter, yeah. Yes, we have been for about four years, four yeah. or five years. And that's going okay. It's going great. It's going expensive, great. but oh. it's, it's worth the yeah. effort. We yeah. don't have your mic. Uh-oh, oh. sorry. Well, you got to start all over because we didn't hear what <coughs> you said. No, I'm just kidding. Where's that mic? There it is. There. There. Hold on to that. Sorry. Sorry, can you hear me now? I probably can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were just sitting here looking at you, too, and not even, hello. <laughs> and Wanda brings in a beautiful dog or cat every week, just about every other week, and... Um, and as far as the reports we're getting, they're, they're getting adopted, and that's what we want to see here. Now, who have you brought today with you? Well, this one is Jethro, and this is... Um, Ellie Mae. Oh, yeah. Jethro. <laughs> no, no, no. Delilah, Delilah. Or Dee Dee is her okay. name. And uh, Mary fosters them, and that's the reason she brought them. And she's, she knows them. They're in her house, so mm -hmm. she's going to tell them. They're very about calm. Them. They're very they good pups. They are very and, good. Um, Jethro is eight years old. I actually raised him. He came to the shelter eight years ago with a third degree burn on his back oh. as a puppy. Wow. And uh, I ended up fostering him. He had some skin issues and he went through having parvo and survived oh, that. Goodness, yeah. Wow. I got him adopted and he lived in a wonderful home with a loving um, man and wife family. And then unfortunately they died last mm. year. The wife passed mm. away and then the husband passed <coughs> away. Oh. So I had to go get him, which so he's been in my home. Delilah here, who's going to take a little nap. Um, <laughs> I came across her last year, when year before last, when I was putting up the angel trees for the mm -hmm. Humane Society. Mm -hmm. And I saw her picture, so I went out to the shelter and got her. And she's been with me ever since. Actually, she did get adopted at one point. She has a skin allergy to corn, to grain, and food. Oh, okay. So oh, um, <coughs> that's her only problem. And she had a full head of hair, and I started trying to wean her off so she's losing a little fur now. But... Um, that's her only thing. Uh, she is a dog that needs to follow another dog. That's why she got returned. Well, I went and got her after four months because the home she was in did not have another dog. When you say she what, has to what, follow, yeah, what, what does, does that, that mean? mean? Well, when you work with uh, dogs a lot, there are just some dogs that do not have the self-confidence on their own. They need, they need another, a leader, I guess. They need a leader. Yeah, yeah okay. they're a follower, not a leader. So yeah. uh, that's why she's great with Jethro. So that's been a match made in heaven. They're both cat lovers. <laughs> absolutely that's, love cats absolutely they're both 100 percent housebroke they stay in our house and mm. you know they go out three or four times a day um they're just wonderful dogs they both have really great dispositions very sweet not aggressive uh just couldn't delilah say doesn't enough. look aggressive at all look at her. yeah <laughs> and they need to be adopted together because delilah does need a dog to follow okay. it is a courtesy adoption they're both um um, Jethro has been neutered and Delilah, Delilah is spayed so um, there's no fee to adopt them there would be a home inspection and mm -hmm. by myself <laughs> yeah and if they didn't work out they could uh, come yeah. back to me so, you, so. you've got an invested interest in making sure these have absolutely. a good home absolutely yeah. Yeah. and this is only a small representation of what the Ozark Humane Society has out for adoption and do you know right now how many dogs and cats are available? Or We tried to get those figures, but uh, we couldn't get them this okay. time. Okay. Well, we have approximately, at all times, upwards of 75 to 100 dogs and, and 20 cats. And if you go to our Facebook page and actually go under right. albums, you can see all of oh, our okay. animals mm -hmm. that we have currently. Pick your shelter. pet. That's right. right. Pick mm -hmm. your pet. And then petfinder.com. They're all okay. on there. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. And then uh, the Facebook page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. And Did there's, you, there's uh, a link on the uh, Ozark Humane Society Facebook page on PayPal if anyone mm -hmm. wants to donate, too. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about donations. Yeah. You, we talked earlier about 
uh, going to pal feed yes to, to help dopt for bedding and also food, food. And, and other things and Harrison Animal Clinic if anyone wanted to put money on mm -hmm. there for the vet care mm -hmm. which is you know is needed too and, and that's Definitely. good for good, good for somebody that doesn't really want to uh, 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 doesn't want to volunteer right. that just wants to give money or or, or wants to give a uh, uh, a need in some other way like right. food or bedding or, another or need is uh, appliances because they have washer and dryers you know they use to wash the bedding True. all the time and a lot of times they're donated and they and someone replaced the one in their house and and they've given these to the Humane Society well they don't last as long so if anyone replaced their washer and dryer okay. and wanted to donate their odor washer and dryer to the Humane Society or refrigerator or freezer or you know just anything not something that someone wants to replace to haul off but that's just a good place to take it that's right. not what I mean I mean working you, you need appliances working. right yeah. working appliances right. they need the director of the Humane Society last week I had talked to her and she <coughs> got her children to bed and she was at the laundromat doing drying clothes because the dryer had gone out oh, wow so this late at night she's doing that so mm -hmm. it, it is a neat there's just things that a person doesn't think about but like right. you said if someone wants to donate money sure. or yeah. something that does help anything helps and we, and we really appreciate it and the little dog that was on last time with me mm -hmm. she was adopted good mm -hmm. yeah and i checked the records on samson the cat that just about pierced my ears yes that day. <laughs> I remember seeing uh, he's been adopted yay so this show really is just a blessing to the pets and we can't say thank you enough can we're we good Jeff? i gotta tell you I, I was at the house where gus got adopted oh, oh, okay. yeah. oh. Gus, gus snores <laughs> you know gus had the other yes. right and he was just, he's just like here I am. Gus was actually one of my rescues. Oh, yours? Yeah. Well, they're enjoying Gus. Yes, and Gus I, is enjoying I his see home. Gus from time to time at the veterinarian mm -hmm. clinic. He, uh -huh. is a, he is a love bug, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. You know, our an annual budget's $270,000, oh, wow. and we are totally um, financed by sales through our thrift shop mm -hmm. and donations. So anybody with any good, uh, clean, sellable, sellable sure. yeah, okay. items, please, please take, take them to Cost Applause on East Crandall. Okay because um, that's our sole um, support system, mm -hmm. right? that and adoptions. Look at Jethro. He's a You're handsome. Boy. You're a love. He is a good boy. <coughs> I would think that they would. Uh, this couple would be good for someone that uh, is elderly and needs need maybe sure, someone that, that had, a, right. had a, a spouse that passed away or something. It would be a great companion for, mm -hmm. for them. And being housebroken, that is a lot of work that's just taken off of that one. You I know, do, don't you? Don't yes. Do, especially with a Jack Russell. I do not and want look to how beautiful that. Delilah is there in that she, shot. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, more information, 741-3050 uh, yes. is the number. And then you're located out on... The Rock Springs, Springs Road. Road. Okay. Springs Road. Springs and Road. then the calls for Pauls is on East Crandall. Yeah. Okay. That's the, probably the best. Yeah, and you always have cats out there, don't you? you at the thrift shop we do in the cat castle. Right. Uh, the shelter is closed on Wednesday and, and Sunday. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we appreciate you. And uh, if you're interested in, in either, or not, not either. Both. Both. The pair. Both. The pair. Um, you get a, a, a matching bookends here, a, a great set for your okay. home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and... Uh, there's no fee, is that right? There's, right. It's a courtesy adoption. Courtesy adoption. Okay. Uh, They've been and neuters. Right. And shots. And shots. They're, and shots. Shots. They're, They're all good to go. go. Good to go. There you go. Thank you all very much for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. And that looks like that does it for this week's edition of 726. Where are we looking at? Up here? Up, or right here? I don't know. Where are we? Hi. Huh? Where and, are we? And uh, <laughs> we are a little slow this time of year for guests. and I'm, uh, I, That makes me work harder. You know, I if am. you want... To be a guest, or if you have someone in mind that you think would yeah. be a good guest, please contact the office at 7414891. I haven't said that number in a long time. That's it. Or send an email to dan at hometowntv.net, mm -hmm. and works. we'd be happy to get you on the show, or share stop your story. Her wherever she's at, because that's where they I get do a lot that. Of they, do. I, they do. Yeah, I appreciate that. You're, or, out, you're out more. I think that I'm you go just out, out just, about. just to get people to notice you. So here right? I am. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It works. Not really. <laughs> Thanks a lot. More information at the end of the show on how you can contact us or if there's any guests that you saw today that you'd like more information on, uh, just uh, jot that information down. If you need more information, you give us a call here at the studio at 870-741-4891.
Thanks for watching, and we'll join you again next time. Somebody wants to.